on request of lot of our followers and lot of our patients we are coming up with today's video on diet after a laparoscopic fundoplication surgery that is the surgery for GERD, acid reflux and high dysarthria. Anybody who has undergone a laparoscopic fundoplication surgery can have a normal healthy diet. Normal healthy diet that they have been eating since their childhood and their forefathers have been eating since generations. Although we do advise them to avoid and restrict the unhealthy food options. Unhealthy food like fried food, any food that is prepared with lot of oil, butter, ghee, with lot of spices and the food that are processed with preservatives and which are available in stores in a packed form. These restrictions are not just important to have a lasting relief in GERD symptoms but also to avoid any form of digestive upset. A person can have tea or coffee in moderation after a laparoscopic fundoplication surgery, but we strictly advise to avoid any form of fizzy or carbonated drinks, alcohol and smoking. A lot of patients with severe GERD have a lot of diet restrictions even among the normal healthier food items imposed upon them by the severity of their GERD symptoms. Hence, we commonly see patients coming to us with the weight loss in range of 10 to 15 kilograms. And in some patients, we have seen even weight loss up to 30 to 35 kgs. And weight loss is just one marker. All these patients are having a range of nutritional problems affecting their overall health and impairing their immunity. After a laparoscopic fundoplication, all these restrictions among the normal healthier food options are no longer needed. Hence, after a laparoscopic fundoplication surgery, food items like citrus fruits, which are a good source of vitamin and a part of normal healthy diet, a lot of vegetables like onion, garlic, tomatoes, which are a rich source of prebiotic and a part of normal healthier diet, milk and milk products providing a uh, lot of calcium and food items like curd, buttermilk, small quantities of pickle which are source of uh, probiotics and very much a part of a normal healthier diet can be consumed without fear of poor outcomes of the surgery, without the fear of GERD symptoms coming back. In fact, in lot of patients, the decision to undergo a laparoscopic fundoplication surgery is done with the goal of getting these patients back to a normal, healthier diet. And in most of our patients, after a laparoscopic fundoplication surgery, we are able to get them back to a normal, healthy diet, eventually helping them regain their lost weight, improving their overall health and immunity. So let's come in the rest of the video, we discuss about the initial diet progression after a laparoscopic fundoplication surgery, what food items are to be avoided, avoided and restricted for the rest of your life and what you can eat without any fear of the GERD symptoms coming back in future. After a laparoscopic fundoplication surgery, the primary concern regarding diet in the initial days is the difficulty in swallowing or dysphagia faced by the patient. Most of the patient would have some degree of difficulty in swallowing after a laparoscopic fundoplication surgery. But one need not worry because this is a temporary problem and even for the initial days when patient has some difficulty, it is not too severe to bother the patients much. The degree of dysphagia or the degree of difficulty patient feels after a fundoplication surgery depends on a certain aspects. One is the motility of the food pipe or esophagus that is the ability or the activity of the food pipe to push the food down which is assessed by us by a manometry study before surgery. It also depends upon the wrap that is created whether it is a Nissan 
or a full that is 360 degree wrap or whether a two pair wrap which is a partial or 270 degree wrap that is created. The difficulty in swallowing also to a certain extent depends upon the stress level of the patient whether they are eating in a relaxed state of mind or they are eating in a worried state in a hasty manner. In our practice at our hospital, we start liquid and soft diet on the same day of surgery. After three to four hours after surgery, we allow the patients to have warm liquids. And once they are comfortable with uh, warm liquids, we allow them soft food on the same day of surgery. And most of our patients are able to comfortably take soft food on the same day of surgery. At this stage, our advice to them is to chew the food properly and eat slowly in a relaxed state of mind. Yes, they are likely to feel that the food is going a little slowly down. At the sight of the newly created valve, they may feel that the food is going with a delay of few seconds. They may feel a little discomfort while the food is passing through the area of the newly created valve or in some swallows they may feel like having a sip of water to facilitate the swallowing process. But most of our patients are able to eat fairly comfortably on the day of surgery itself. We strongly believe that there is no reason why we should restrict the diet to only liquids for the initial one or two weeks after the surgery. There should be no hesitation or fear in starting soft food early on after a laparoscopic fundoplication surgery. I strongly believe that when we start soft food early, it helps the patient get adjusted to the changes that are made in the food pipe and stomach faster. It also gives us the feedback whether the newly created valve is appropriate or too tight. In a very rare instance, when the wrap is too tight, it can be addressed there and then before discharging the patient after the surgery. Thus, we can prevent the long-term dysphagia or difficulty in swallowing that is a rare but troubling complication of this surgery. When the patient comes to our follow-up after two to three days after surgery to get their wounds checked, to get the dressings done, we take the opportunity to assess how well they are able to eat soft food. If the patient is uh, able to eat soft food quite comfortably, we progress their diet to more complex food like roti and bread. If the patients are having fair amount of difficulty in swallowing soft food, we delay this progression to about 7 to 10 days after surgery. This practice is same for both Nissan and Tupe fundoplication and it doesn't change as per the degree of the wrap that is created. With more uh, progression of time, once the patient are comfortable with uh, uh, roti and bread, we progress the diet to more complex foods which are more difficult to swallow like uh, chicken, fish and other vegetarian food which are difficult to swallow. Roughly in 50% of patients, we are able to make the progression from soft diet to rotis within a day, uh, uh, within a period of two to three days, and in the rest of the patients, we are able to make this progression in seven to ten days. Gradually, with each passing day, the difficulty in swallowing reduces gradually, and the number of swallows in which the patient would feel difficulty and would feel a need to have a sip of water to facilitate swallowing reduces. By about six to eight weeks after surgery. Most of the patients are able to eat normally without any form of difficulty in swallowing. In our practice, we do Nissan fundoplication that is a full wrap in most of our patients, except in few patients where the esophageal motility is very weak, in few very elderly patients, and in few patients who have their own preference to get a partial or two-pair fundoplication done. And this diet progression and difficulty in swallowing is same for both Nissan and Tupe fundoplication in our practice. Anyone undergoing a laparoscopic 
for localization surgery can eat all normal food like a normal person. But our advice is to avoid and restrict the unhealthy food as much as possible. Hence, all the fried food, all the food items which are prepared with too much of oil, ghee, butter, too much of spices should be avoided as much as possible. They should be restricted in frequency and whenever you consume such kind of food, they should be consumed in a lesser quantity. This not just helps to get a lasting relief from acid reflux, but this also prevents other form of digestive problems and also other form of non-digestive chronic medical problems like diabetes, cardiac problems, lipid profile abnormalities and all. We also strictly advise to avoid any form of carbonated or fizzy drinks. Having such drinks after a fundoplication surgery is likely to make you feel bloated and the feeling of unease and will also put pressure at the newly created valve which we want to avoid at all cost. We also strictly advise to avoid any form of alcohol and smoking after a laparoscopic fundoplication surgery so that we can have a lasting relief from GERD and acid reflux from this surgery. Can one have tea or coffee after a laparoscopic fundoplication surgery? The answer is yes. Anybody who has undergone a laparoscopic fundoplication surgery can have tea or coffee in moderation. Generally, one or two small cups of tea or coffee per day should be fine. And we would advise to avoid any more excess of tea or coffee. Again, tea is preferable to coffee. One also need to understand that tea and coffee not just influences the functioning of your stomach but it also affects the intestines. Hence there are some patients or persons who feel uncomfortable or unease after having tea or coffee. If you are one such person then you need to understand that your digestive system is to a certain extent intolerant to tea or coffee and make your adjustments accordingly. The diet advised after a laparoscopic fundoplication surgery for the rest of the life is to have a normal healthy diet. A healthy diet is the one which is not good just for your digestive system but for all the systems of your body. And that is what we advise to all our patients of GERD and acid reflux whether they are being treated by medications or by a surgery. If a patient is not able to take normal healthy food, then it means that we need to optimize their treatment such that they are back to their normal healthy diet. And in most of the patients, we are able to achieve that with proper treatment. There is a small exception to this rule where some patients are intolerant to certain specific food either because of their genetic makeup or because of a gross change in their gut microbiome because of some past major illness and its treatment or because of major changes in their digestive system because of a major gastrointestinal surgery. Even in these patients, with proper guidance and treatment, they are back to normal healthy diet with restriction to just few food items that they are intolerant to. Hence, after a laparoscopic fundoplication surgery, there are no more restrictions on healthy citrus fruits. There are no restriction in any form of vegetables, even considering tomatoes, onion or garlic. Once the initial phase of difficulty in swallowing passes, there are no restrictions on having non-vegetarian food items like chicken and fish. But care should be taken that these non-vegetarian food are prepared in a healthier way. They are not fried or cooked with too much of oil and butter. In short, we can say that for the rest of the, your life, you can eat normal healthy food. The food that you have been eating since your childhood and your forefathers have been eating for generations now. 
For a faster and smooth recovery after a laparoscopic fundoplication operation, we advise our patients to eat in a relaxed state of mind, chew the food properly and eat slowly. We also advise them to eat only when they are hungry and stop eating as soon as they feel full. This also applies to the liquids that are consumed and they also should be taken in a slow manner. This is especially important in the initial days when patients are having some form of difficulty in swallowing and they feel full with smaller quantity of foods. But later on also when there is no difficulty in swallowing and patients are able to take normal quantities of food at one time, we advise to follow the same principles throughout their life. Because whenever we eat in a fast manner or hastily, we eat the unchewed food, there is poor coordination among the muscles of the throat and food pipe which are uh, helpful in swallowing. It also leads us to frequent overeating. All these uh, disturbances may lead to some of the symptoms of food pipe and stomach even when your digestive system is uh, absolutely functioning normally. Hence, our advice for the rest of your life is to always eat in a relaxed state of mind, eat slowly and stop when you feel full. This is how anybody should be eating whether they are having any digestive problems or not whether they have undergone a fundoplication surgery or not.